Well, how are you getting on? Sponge Murphy here with another spooky Toberfest update video. So it's been, I think, nearly a week since I've done an update video. I haven't been well the last few days, so everything's kind of been put on hold. But uh, I did get the uh, help it all made up. Um, I think last Saturday I got most of it made up. The only the stuff I had to do today was just glue on the arms, uh, the bigger part of the arms on the bottom. Um, and other than that I got most of it done last week, it's just I didn't get a chance to get any more done. Um, and it really is like one of those freaky looking models. It looks so different from different angles. Um, and there's so much stuff on it. Um, it's really going to be a real challenge to paint I think. Um, it went together pretty much okay. Uh, the only problem I had was the very first part. Literally, it was like page one instruction A. Uh, this little bit, it's just it's one of those pieces where you have to put it in that way and twist it and turn it and then it lock in. So it was kind of funny like that, but I got it eventually. And um, I really, as he's not glued to the base, I really wanted to get a round base for this guy, but I spent all my money on for follow four, so the deposit for that is paid off. So I won't be getting any hobby stuff for a while. Um. yeah so you know there's a lot of details on this guy see if we can get a proper look on the camera Um, like way more than you think on the than there is on the box like when you get to look at this thing in the flesh this is the first time I've seen it in the flesh I haven't seen this before you know it, it really is something else um, I went with the more kind of natural skin tone arms uh, like I, didn't, I don't have the fire thing I don't have the mechanical alarm um, all this stuff on the back here, all this pump stuff has to go on it. Um, the only stuff, the only thing I left off for now was there's two wires coming from there connecting into. I'm pretty sure it's that piece there. I just left that off because it might get in the way for painting, so that will go on near the end. And uh, you get a little terrain piece as well to fit on the bottom. See the little kind of pillar thing he's holding on to. That will. Slot into that and it'll make it all nice and level for you. And um, you get a little mice as well for the base there, so on the sprue. I, I said there's no point in taking them off until I need to use them. Um, I really would have loved to get a round base for it, but you know, he's fine on the square base, he looks nice. Um, he's he he's big, but like his body is so weirdly shaped, like he's curved and everything. Um, so look, look at this. There's an ogre. Like he's much taller than an ogre. Um, you know he's wider than him. And ogres are pretty big. Like, like here's a. It's just a size comparison there for a space marine. I just had one handy working on. You know, he'd sit on a space marine any day. So I'm um, yeah. So that's it you now for this update for Spooky Toberfest Hell Pit Abomination. I'm hoping to get more updates now next week and. Um, you know, get back in paint and farm, get this guy started, and I'll probably start putting the best cut on pretty soon. So, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys leave a comment below, let me know what you guys think. Uh, hit the like button and share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. So, thanks for watching. See you guys next update.